everybody it's amy at crafty cat and so i'm trying out my logitech camera again so um uh, instead of my phone just because i'm tired of it turning off on me so we'll see how this goes um theron figured out a way to hook it up to my apple uh computer so <laughs> that was the problem originally was trying to figure out how to get it hooked up to that so anyways um, we're going to work on this in the city journal and what I've done is stitched it all together and I put batting in it again. That's kind of my favorite way. I, I like it with the batting in there. It just makes it feel kind of like a quilt and I just I really like that. I haven't sewn in my signature yet so that will go right here and then we're going to work on this today. It's going to be kind of almost like another little journal. Um, the pages I'm going to pretty much leave just for writing. Uh, so it'll sort of be like a naked journal in a way, but um, we're going to decorate this. And what it will do is, so if this is open all the way, I left this open as a pocket. It can be a pocket or, you know, for this, that will slide in there like that. And then this will still be able to open and be used here, or you could take it out and use it, you know, take it with you or whatever. So we're going to work on this today. And uh, here's my little pocket. I added this pretty crochet trim on there. So that goes like that. That goes like that. I like it like this. Um, my aunt had it folded different with the flap that came over, but it comes really close to these buttons. So I don't know, I, I just like it like this, but whoever gets it can fold it however they like. All right, so I have just scraps and stuff. So we're just gonna work on this little guy. And like I said, I just added all kinds of old papers tore all the edges you know just tore around all the edges so that they're kind of that cool sort of old looking thing <laughs> so i'm going to set those over here out of the way and what i wanted to work on is this front flap this will be the front and i found this cool envelope it's actually from my friend robin she dyed a bunch of these um you know junk mail envelopes for me but look at the inside of this it's a great color to go with this journal so what i think i'm going to do is trace around um the flap and stuff here and we'll turn this into a pocket with a window and then i'll probably um, collage around here a bit just because like i've said before i don't like this uh, acetate edge around there but the rest of it i'm pretty much going to leave as is trying to decide if I want to keep this flap. I think I might. So the first thing I have to do is cut it down because it's too big. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to make sure I get, you know, the window and then, oh, you know what? Oh yeah, I think that will work. I was going to say that's not going to work, but I think it will. I'm trying to see I don't want to get too close to the top, but I guess that isn't a problem, is it? Because we have this whole area here. Okay. <laughs> it's always interesting trying to finagle this to work how you want it to, how you are envisioning it. So we'll see what we can come up with here. The one thing I really do like about my Logitech camera, and the only reason I stopped using it is because I started using an iPad instead of having a whole big computer in my uh, craft room, because it was just another thing taking up space that I could use for other things, um, is it's on the screen of my Apple over here, so I can, you know, kind of see what's going on. So it's actually a pretty nice system, as long as it works for you. So that's how I'm going to do that. So I guess I will cut both sides of the envelope that way, right? Because that makes sense. Because otherwise, um, you'd have this weird square on that other part, if you know what I mean. Like if you leave this, this one back here, it would look weird if it was just the regular envelope um, portion. So I'm cutting both thicknesses of my envelope. And then I'm going to cut here, hopefully, if I can get this to... It's always interesting with um, coffee dyed paper because it kind of has a mind of its own and it's crinkled and wrinkled in different ways. And so <laughs> getting it to cooperate is sometimes a little bit difficult, but 
You know what I gotta get myself is some of those scissors that don't have this part because that is killing me right now. I think I must have some pretty good arthritis going in those joints and oh my word. It's amazing that something you never thought about before in your life using scissors um, <laughs> would become that kind of a painful situation. So that goes this way. It's, it's going to, oh, well, how in the world? Oh, because I just, did I trim the, I did the wrong side, didn't I? This is supposed to be, no, that's right. Okay, that's the front, sorry. This is the back. Whew, that was scary, huh? <laughs> oh, brother. So that will go like that. And I think what I'm going to have to do is make the, pocket for under the envelope here um accessible through this side because if i do it over here it's got this weird edge and everything so i think that's how i'm going to do it and then this flap you know you'll be able to ride on i'll probably decorate this a little bit i'm mostly thinking through this you're talking to myself so i'm sorry <laughs> probably like yeah got it uh, so i'm just gonna glue that down like that and leave this this side open if that makes any sense i just really like that design i think it's really cool so how you all doing today i didn't even say that sorry sorry welcome to all my new subscribers thank you thank you thank you and of course welcome back oh my goodness that's my husband sneezing <laughs> um, welcome back to all my um subscribers who have been with me love you guys super fun and I thank you all for joining me and the nice comments you guys are just wonderful and I really appreciate it I kind of do want to put something behind the window too even though um, we'll put a tag or something and you probably won't see it a lot of the time, but at least when you take stuff out, I think that that would be more interesting, don't you, to have something back there? Since that's usually how we do it anyway, right? All right, so let's put something fun back there. Oh, you know what would be kind of cool is this right here. These fonts, old fonts. And this is out of um, that Sears and Roebuck, that reprint of the Sears and Roebuck from the 1800s that my sister got me for Christmas. So that would be fun to put in there. I only need about this much. So what kind of projects are you guys all doing? I love it when you chat with me in the comments. So please do that. That helps my um, numbers, my the algorithms for YouTube. I don't really totally get all that, but it, it does help. So I love it when you comment, um, like, and subscribe, of course, is awesome. But it's not just for algorithms. I mean, I, I really do love getting the comments and chatting with you guys and see what you think of stuff. So please do that, those of you that may not. And I understand sometimes you just don't feel like it, and that's fine. I get it. Um, but if you got a minute, I would appreciate it. Okay, now trying to figure out how to get this under here in the right spot. So I think what I want to do is kind of hold it on here. Hardest part about these um, Sears and Roebuck catalogs is that it's hard to decide which page to use, you know what I mean? Because there's uh, the cool stuff on both sides. But that's the same thing with a lot of scrapbook papers. So I'm just going to kind of draw myself a little a couple of lines so that I have an idea of where it needs to sit to be seen the way I want it to. So yeah, even if sometimes you just feel like leaving a smiley face or whatever. That helps me. 
Mm. Ah. Just made a mess. Yeah, you'd think it'd be more just on who's watching or, you know, whatever, but no. There's a lot of stuff that goes into those, how they decide to um, put your videos up for suggestions, you know. Or, you know, suggested views for other people. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now we can just glue that around the edges. Yeah, the inside of this one's really cool. I've not ever seen um, the security envelope with that design. It's kind of neat. I think I might just sort of cover this whole tab in glue. It'll help hold it, plus there's no real need to have that tab open. You know, as part of the pocket, because... It'll probably just be a, a tag that goes in there. See what I mean? Hopefully we got that right, because there's not much wiggle time with our glitter glue. <laughs> it's like, it's down. Okay. I like the way that looks already and I guess I could cut that flap off and then you could see this but I don't know it's kind of fun to have another sort of thing like that and then I thought it would be neat to take this that's this is from that Stamperia pad of paper and just glue it on part ways and then that's what's going to hold this from flopping all over the place in the journal you know what I mean so that's that, and we're gonna go around this little window just with some strips of whatever I grab here, basically. I wanna use this. Ooh, this side's kinda cool. It's another sort of lettering, numbering, whatever, fonts. So we can use some pieces of this to go around that. Just to cover up, I just don't like that, um, that's going to be wide enough, probably not, huh? No, I didn't tear it wide enough. I just don't like that acetate around there. Let's use some other stuff, too. Oh, it's always interesting trying to get the right width here. And like, um, since I'm not seeing the window from the other side, if some of it sort of hangs over a little bit, I'd, that's fine. Just old pieces of paper from different little, this is from a sewing, I think a work basket magazine. But any old book page, you know, you could even take newer, like if you don't have access to um, like old book page you can get books at like the dollar store and I know you have to watch for the some of the language isn't great but um and then you could copy dye them and it would work too to do this sort of thing I wanted this side with all the numbers huh I think I'll tear that off but I need a little something to cover that I've got an old piece of this that's already got numbers and stuff on it This is some of the Sears and Roebuck. But yeah, just use what you have. You don't have to. I mean, I've, I've been doing this journaling now for, I think this is my fifth year. So I've been collecting stuff the whole time. I didn't always have stuff, but I've always been interested in old, um, you know, paper and stuff like that. So I did have some things already. But I didn't start out with all the stuff I have now. I just, if I see something at a thrift store or um, an antique store or whatever that I could use, I'll grab it. And I don't spend a lot. I won't spend a lot because it's stuff that I'm going to take apart and 
tear and you know what I mean so it's not super valuable stuff that I'm using and um, yeah you just kind of collect it over time tissue paper works great for you know this type of look I'm gonna take just some pieces of this now and go on the top of this or you can get like the Tim Holtz tissue too and that already has kind of an old feel to it so there's definitely things you can do if you don't have access to the older stuff or if you just don't have the older stuff. You could stamp some um, brown deli paper with some numbers or whatever and tear that and use it. So there's like lots of things you can do even if you don't have, because I get that comment a lot that, you know, I don't have the old pieces. And um, yeah, you don't you don't have to. You can do a lot with not much because that's how I started was I didn't have much at all. Just want a sort of more torn edge here. Yeah, my. My hubby just got home. He got off a little early today. He had some stuff he needed to do from home. So that's what he's doing. For me, it's Friday. For you guys, this is either going to be Monday or Tuesday. And it's all going to depend on that... Um, crazy craft challenge when I get that done and the video up. I'm try I want to try to do those on Mondays, but I'm um, just depending on, I don't know what it's going to be. You know, I have no clue. <laughs> so depending on what th they want us to do this week. Um, yeah, that's going to make my decision whether this video is Monday or Tuesday's video. So because I don't know what crazy thing those ladies are going to come up with next i'm kind of terrified because if it's like drawing with your feet or something i just don't see that happening <laughs> i don't think anybody wants to see that but you never know um yeah so i don't know what we're going to be doing <laughs> it's, it's uh terrifying in many ways Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got my cat completely addicted to the television. <laughs> it's so bad. I didn't think that that would happen. I just thought, oh, this would be funny. I'll just turn these on for a few minutes, some birds, you know, for him to watch. Now, every single morning, I kid you not, and I think I might have mentioned this yesterday too, but or whenever I did a video last, um, he, I get up in the morning and he's sitting there on the little edge of the TV <laughs> wanting me to turn on birds <laughs> and then anytime anybody sits down on the couch and I'm pretty sure I did tell you guys this he comes and wants to watch birds it's like Pasha <laughs> he's a junkie for it <laughs> so last night Theron and I turned on the tv upstairs here in the upstairs part of the house um that Theron watches usually and turned on birds for him so he sat there for the longest time and talked to him and everything and Theron was just dying laughing because he's just you know how cats do that thing that they do <laughs> when they see birds or whatever I'm like I've never understood that about cats do any of you guys understand that if you have cats or have ever had cats um when they see birds like out the window or even when they're out there too they like do that chatter at them and I'm like they're gonna know you're right there because you're jabbering at them <laughs> I don't know what that's about but anyway he's doing that just meowing at them in general so yeah he's a total junkie for it I don't know where he's at right now I think he's asleep but because I left to go to the post office I turn off the tv because I'm afraid he's gonna like knock a tv over or something you know what I mean like he just gets real into it <laughs> so anyways yeah I like that Okay, so then that's really all I want to do because I just love this background. But on this side, I think I want to do a little bit more just because 
like I said, I don't, I don't love the way that looks. So let's get that part covered. And I'm liking this font thing we got going on. It's not really wide enough, but it would be kind of cool to have like, you know, the old typewriter or something. Could I get close enough here just to do kind of a strip down there? That would look fun. I'm going to move it down because I want to see obviously more of that than other parts. Trace around this again. Try not to give myself a heart attack thinking I've <laughs> put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> or traced the wrong thing. That is. It's just the easiest way to do these tabs is that kind of a thing. So that you can. Well, that's if you trace it straight, Amy. But yeah, so he's completely addicted to that now. And so then I started turning on my iPad with the birds and stuff on it. Because then I don't, you know, I can lean that against the couch or whatever. And I don't have to worry about him knocking it over or whatever. He's such a nut. Oh, this way. He's such a nut brain, I'm telling you. Yeah, that would work. And then I think we could put something else on there. Just a little bit. Yeah, the things we do for our cats, I'm telling you. Oh, and thank you to all of you. A lot of you have um, tried to help me find ideas to get food for my female cat who's highly picky. She's 15 years old and she has always been a picky eater. And so um, a lot of people have mentioned like Chewy and I use Chewy for like their kibbles and stuff like that. But I don't want to get a big huge thing of um, that because I've had to take back a few boxes of Fancy Feast because they're like she just wouldn't eat them because she only likes the pate and she's picky about flavors like one day she likes a flavor and then she doesn't like it the next day it's just it's it's a lot of things other than just supply chain but it's hard with the supply chain thing because you know it's just making it harder to find that's all but I mean we do have it in my area it just isn't as uh as many varieties, I guess, as it usually would be. For some reason, this didn't stick. But I really appreciate you guys trying to help because that is awesome. So thank you, thank you. She's just... I don't know. She's just always been hard... Oh, my gosh. Hard to feed for some reason. And, you know, I've tried lots of stuff with the vet. and yeah. I mean, there's nothing in particular it's wrong with her she's just picky so you just gotta keep fussing with stuff to try to find something she likes but don't really have time to mess with that all day long right i do my best i did find her some more of the kind that she likes Today, so I'm hoping and I did I am trying a new one that I have never tried before so maybe she will like that one yeah I think I've bought every kind of soft cat food there is on the planet <laughs> and many of the hard ones as well it's kind of crazy and Pasha doesn't care he just eats his Persian cat food and that's all he's interested in his kibbles. He's not interested in the soft food at all. 
every so often you might eat a little bit of hers if it's left like she didn't eat it all or didn't eat it at all but um he just has a few bites and then he's done with that project but his stinking food's expensive jeez and i do get that from chewy i like chewy that's a that's a good deal you just order it once and you can get it auto shipped and it's fabulous so these are from my price tag digital download they're um just kind of neutral postcards with old papers and i have two old paper digital downloads too if you um just want like backing papers or whatever but this might be kind of good just to Sort of a, a little note spot maybe i don't you know i don't want to cover up a lot of that this because i just like it and i like this typewriter too so i'm not even sure if i want that hmm i think i might leave it off for now and then i'll decide because so i don't know but let's cover that a little bit with something fun Could use a little strip of this for that spot. And I don't want to use it all. Like, I don't want to cover everything, but maybe just like. I'm not as worried about these machines as the. Um, I like that typewriter. And I think you could still just write right there. My thumbs keep cracking. Uh, don't you hate that in the winter? Honestly. I mentioned that the other day, I know. And I do put that really thick, like, Luberderm, the really thick kind on my hands at night and stuff, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure messing with all the paper all day doesn't help either. And washing the glue and stuff off all the time. I really only have the problem in the winter. I got glue everywhere. <laughs> That's what my deal is lately with the glue. It's just been like, wow. Could you get more on there? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, that is a little bit something back there. Am I dragging that through the ink? Probably. Let me get rid of this one because it's all gloppy. Okay. So then on here, we could take this piece and just take the edges off a little. And you could also write on that. You could just write on the envelope too, for sure. Could come up over here. Oh, I kind of like this, how old that looks though. I don't know, do I even want that covered? Let's see. Sometimes I struggle. Couldn't really write on that. I do like that. But I think I'll put this on so that you can just write on it. And I do like the envelope. I like that tab. It's nice and um, coffee dyed. Maybe do a little stamping. I don't need this much of this, I'll tell you. husband's probably working on tax stuff. Ugh. It just takes forever to get everything together. It's mostly my junk that takes forever because I have, well this year I did my Shopify shop and then I have um, Etsy and YouTube 
and that my Amazon Associates. <laughs> yeah, so it just takes forever to get all the junk together. And then itemizing and, you know, keeping track of all receipts and all that. I mean, I keep track of those. I mean, I keep them all year, so. But just getting it all together. Okay. There's that. That will open. And then we need a little something in there. And I had a card I wanted to put in there. That fit. Not entirely, huh? It needs to be a little thinner. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off of it. Um, if I can find my cutter. <laughs> Over by my table. It's the only problem with using it for other stuff, too, because I, I lose it all the time. So this is just a time card. And I think you can find those, you know, lots of places. So. That's the other thing. You can find things like this. Coffee dye them. Ink them with... Tim Holtz ink. Can do loads of stuff to those too. But yeah, this will take a few videos to do this little book, but I just thought it's kind of a fun, fun little thing. And then we'll put a piece of fabric on that too. Yeah, that's okay. What do we want to put on there? Could put one of these gentlemen. Fabulous. And if you haven't been with me previously, this is my In the City digital download. If you're wondering where in the world did I find these. It's in my Etsy shop. It's also in my Shopify shop, but probably going to be closing that, unfortunately. I really wanted to do that, but just didn't just didn't do what I wanted it. Which is, you know, understandable. People are used to Etsy and that's what where they have their accounts and whatever and so I think that's just the way it is. And I don't like, you know, I get in my rut too and use the same sort of places all the time because, you know, you, you know they're safe and whatever. So I totally get it. Put there, put him here, down a little. Yeah. It's going to need something else. Okay. Could use one of these little if I can get a hold of it. Doodads. I don't know where, but a bigger one. Hmm, don't like that. <laughs> Let's see. I have my Stamperia paper. There were some numbers, yeah. These ones are kind of cool, aren't they? I don't know which one I want to use. Hmm. I kind of like.
like that because it would be a contrast to the blue. I think I will use that one. There is a killer to cut these pages because you only get one of each side, which uh, I find highly annoying. But anyway, um, yeah, because then you're missing out on whatever's on the other side. But I do love the designs, and it's like I want to use it. It needs to be roughed up. Before I want to do that, or before I want to do that, before I put that on, I'm going to add a little something to this. It just needs something to use. A little bit of my vintage photo, which needs some ink. <laughs> I need to get some ink. <laughs> and then the Mermaid Lagoon. And just water. And these are the oxides. I always forget to say that. Just needed something. I felt like. So I was just giving it a little, little bit of interest maybe. Oops, not on his face. <laughs> didn't mean to get that close to his face, which I hate it when you do that stuff. It's like, durr. Okay. Now that'll have to dry. <laughs> but I think I might get a little bit of this on here, too. Since I got it out. We'll mop it up, right? All right, get this out of the way, and I'm gonna get that dry, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, sorry, I'm still getting used to this camera again. <laughs> it's always interesting when you uh, don't use something for a while. You think, oh yeah, I can. I used to that. That's easy. Until you try to do it again. And the brain has forgotten what it once knew. Needs a little bit of something else, I feel like. Should have inked this too while I had that out. But I didn't. Okay, we'll do something like that. I know, I'm covering up a lot of my ink. 
but that's just kind of the way it is. Hopefully you can see him through the window. I forgot to even test that. <laughs> and then I'll put something over here. It should probably be spattered a little with some gold so that it goes with all the other things. on that. Oh, shoot. For my 50th birthday, can I have new thumbs? <laughs> Honestly. Somebody's yelling, cover up his face. Thank you. I always forget that and then I'm sorry because I glob it right on the middle of their eyeball or something getting a little better I used to do this and then I stopped for a while again it's the whole train your brain right I think oh I've totally done that before I can do it sure it does help with a smaller brush that I will say Okay, I think that is good. And then like I said, I'll put something for a little tab over there, but we're gonna let it dry for a moment out of the way. Okay, so now we need to do a little something for this part, this part, but maybe we'll just do this part today and then we'll continue on from there another day. What do we want to put there? Some of that one. I think I like this piece on this side. Tear a little extra because I'm going to have to tear off the other side too. width now. No, I still need a little more. Let's do the top and bottom. Mm, that's pretty good actually. And this is going to be a little bit odd because you're going to have that um, moon image just sort of sitting over here. But I think that'll be the easiest way to hold that flap. If you know what I mean. Yeah, when I first started doing journals, junk journals, I um, would coffee dye book pages, especially the ones that have that real soft paper because they kind of, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you've ever felt 
like either a really old book page or um, you know some of the newer ones ha still have that feel or that like manila drawing paper kids manila drawing paper that really soft paper that seems like it would soak up you know take color well that's kind of the kind I liked to coffee dye and I got that crooked but a little shocked right but yeah it works great for coffee dyeing because it does kind of soak it up really nice and it, it just has that feel of older paper gonna cover up that number huh <laughs> I guess I can put it down a little bit further like more down oh, right side up would be good right here that would work because it would still hold it let's do that let me know how the sound is on this because I don't know that either oh, that covers most of that this is probably too big that would look really cool if I put that down first but it's not going to be centered. That'd be weird. I could take it over a little and trim it. Oh, what the heck? Why not? Right? I think, I don't know which side. I guess it doesn't matter. Ink this one a little. It needs a little more definition around it, I think. This is, these are those doilies um, that I have in my shop. And if you don't see them in my shop, it's because they sold out. But I promise you, I'm continually cutting these whenever I get a, get a chance, I swear. I'm trying. They take an hour and a half to cut one package. So that's, the, that's why it's taking me so long and why I can't have like 20 of them in my shop. Believe me, I would love it if I could. But um, yeah, I need elves to cut at night. <laughs> That's what I keep telling my husband. If I had elves to cut stuff at night, I'd be styling. But I don't, so. How did Santa luck out with the elves? Am I right? Maybe. Uh, no, the center is fine. And I'm still going to end up, look, I have my pin glued to my arm. I'm still going to end up covering up this number, but I guess you'll still see a little bit of it, maybe. Probably not much. It's fine. We can put a number somewhere else. Okay, we'll trim that. a little more I feel like and it needs a little gold too huh <laughs> she set me loose with the gold I'm just gonna do this instead of spattering could add just some little right on the cheek so now I'm moving away uh, let's put this, this. And that we can put in there but in that it's got to dry <laughs> so let's see how this one's doing 
think it's dry. It's hard to tell when your fingers are all gold, huh? Okay. I just want to see if we can see it in here. See our gentleman. Oh, hey, looky there. He's like right in the perfect spot. How did I even do that? I have no idea. That was sheer luck. So he's there. And that little guy's got to get dry. But we're going to put glue on one side because it's going to be like that. So we basically need glue, right? Like so ish. I hope. Let's close this so we can. Yeah, I don't even need that much. Because of the tab that. If you're smart, you'll check these things before you put glue on everything. And hopefully, that'll work. <laughs> gonna take a bit for that to you know stay down once it's folded for a while and all these are flattened out a little bit hopefully it will it will work all right so that's where we're gonna stop today and then next time we work on this one we will work some more on this little book and hopefully by then i'll have my signature sewn in and i can start adding um, some of the other stuff and we'll do something back here i just don't know why yet so I'm working on that Get this down. all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and we'll chat again soon love you guys bye now